Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how you can perform some operation on the column names of a data set. So things like uh, whenever we are getting the real time data, it is uh, it has some columns and columns are having multiple values like first space name, first name, last name, city name and things like that. And uh, space is really not helpful when you are performing some data operations because then in that case you have to write the entire name within the bracket notation. So how you can perform some operations to change these uh, these column names into some specific uh, result that you want. So for example, you want to have underscore, first underscore name instead of space. So I'll show you here and let me import the library pandas as pd and i want to import the data set which is for a famous iris just for this example and then you can apply it anywhere you want pd dot read underscore csv and what i need is the iris data so i'll go to abh folder where it is present it's on desktop csv and what i'll just do is head quickly remove this column doesn't make much sense so for that we can write iris dot drop unnamed zero surrounded by single quotation and say in place is equals to true so that we have uh, changes impacted to our original data set otherwise it will not impact and uh, access is equals to one because by default it is zero zero indicates that you have to you want to apply the operation on rows all right and one indicates you want to apply the operation on column okay with that iris dot head just to give some additional context about dropping the columns okay let's go ahead and uh, now change the iris.columns first of all so these are the columns that you have iris.columns sepal and sepal with beta length and beta width and species and what we want is we want to change this dot notation let's say to underscore right so what i'll do is i'll simply write uh, x dot so x is just a variable x dot replace dot width underscore and how we will get the x values is by running a loop on the iris values or column values or the column names for x in iris dot columns right so this way what we are saying is basically hey x going to take all the values of uh, columns one by one and replace them with the underscore wherever you find the dot okay and uh, then let's print the values okay here we are uh, we have underscore for each of the values now so this way uh, you can change space to underscore or a space to a dot or a dot to an underscore so it really opens up a lot of uh, you know open room for you because then instead of replace let's say what you want is if i go down and write it again uh, iris dot columns is equals to x dot lower what we are saying is simply lower down the values right for x in iris dot columns and now let's see iris dot head so now we have sepal length sepal width petal and petal width and species into lowercase so this way you can lower down the values of uh, lower down the values of this sepal and sepal width and you can then experiment with couple of other options like you have uh, i don't know what is really going on with my mouse upper another uh, so this this is basically a string and then you can look at the, 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 the documentation for string operations and you can apply whatever string operations you want. Okay, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I'll meet you in the new video, new topic.